let's look at some recruitment use cases, right? So let's say there is a job description. I have it already here. I don't want to type it out and I'll copy paste here, right? So I picked up, by the way, this is a real job, job description that I had copied when I first did the masterclass. So I say, please provide a summary of the job description below. And this, you can see this is a quite a long job description. And it will provide you a summary of the description, right? So again, you can ask it, like we discussed, you can decide the output format, you can decide the tone, you can manipulate uh, whatever way you want. it. So we will say, uh, by the way, one more thing that I want you to keep in mind is, you don't have to come up with the perfect prompt in the first go, right? Because this is a, a genius intern, but not a human, it will not get frustrated. So you can keep asking it follow-up question. You can keep giving it follow-up prompts, right? So in this case, let's say I'm not happy with the, uh, uh, the summary that I got because it is in the form of a paragraph. I'll say, please summarize the above job description in a bullet point format. Structure it by the main keywords and the main keywords being responsibilities, requirements, skills, scope, etc. Right? It will do it in that format. Right? So unlike your human intern who might be very good, good, at, good at their job, they could get frustrated. This AI intern will not. Right? It will keep giving you results as long as you give it the right input. And if your input is not right the first time, you can make it correct. Right? So you can keep asking it. So you, you, you see, I asked it to summarize the same job description, but this time in a bullet point format, structured by the main keyword. So it has done that, right? Responsibilities, requirements, skills, and scope. I asked it to summarize it within those four buckets. It has done exactly that, right? Okay. 